We're gonna talk about what's going on with the stock market, how the coronavirus is affecting our economy, and whether you should pay down your mortgage or invest your money. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. I'm here today with Joseph Tang, investment advisor with Nesbitt Burns. Thanks so much for coming and sharing your expertise with us. No, thank you for having me. So the stock market has been quite volatile recently with a correction of around 10%. Mm -hmm. So do you think it'll be a quick rebound or do you think it'll drop some more? Well, I do believe that if you look at in the past history, like from SARS or you know, influenza, H1N1, any of these like major uh, medical issues is usually short-lived. Definitely in the short term, you know, economy is going to be affected. However, once they find a way to contain the virus and the, the, everyone's kind of confidence is going to come back up again. So I do believe it's relatively short term. And if you can hold out for 12 months, you'll be in a better position than where you are today. Now, lots of concerns about surrounding coronavirus, and mm. I know that's a big part of why the market's dropping, but are there other things that's fundamentally unstable that is causing lots of fear in the market? Well, I do believe that coronavirus is one, um, and the market has been at all-time high for the last year, year and a half, right? So I think the coronavirus was kind of the excuse for people to sell off. But more importantly than that, I think it all kind of started when there was a trade war between U.S. and Canada as well, uh, U.S. and China, sorry, um, because it definitely put an impact in terms of both largest economies in the world. And so with the tariffs and everything impacting them, it definitely took a toll, but nobody really paid attention to it until now. People are thinking, well, if people are going to be unemployed, are people not going to work, uh, factories in China are being shut down, that's what's going to cause the next potential downturn. So I think coronavirus was, in, uh, was a reason, but uh, there was a lot of other things that were happening in the economy that kind of came out because of it. Okay, so for an average investor, what should they be doing right now? Well, for an so the thing is that if you have money and you don't need this until next year, I do believe that this would be an opportunity for you to buy because the markets have come down 10 to 20% in the last two weeks. So you're basically buying at a 20% discount. Now, if you are looking at using the money in the next three to six months time, I would recommend against it because we don't really know exactly when the virus would be contained. Um, hopefully a shorter term, but if it doesn't get contained in the next three to six months, then you're gonna keep seeing this volatility for the next several months. And um, just on a separate note, during this time of the year, um, the clients usually receive a nice year-end bonus and uh, they may have some cash in their bank account. And one question I usually get is, oh, should they use this cash and put it towards their mortgage or should they have other plans or invest in it? Well, I would say given the fact that US, Canada, both central banks have reduced the rates in the last couple of days, uh, definitely lending rates are at historical lows again. I believe, if you ask John, uh, typical rates are at about 2 to 3% now. Right? Yeah, around that. Right. So that's your cost. If you have extra money and you're not tight on cash flow, I would definitely use that lump sum and actually invest into the market because if you invest into dividend paying companies, they're paying you 4, 4.5%. That's already more than what their cost is. Plus the potential capital gains over the next year, they will be way better, way farther ahead than where they are today. And there you go. We just shared with you about the stock market, how the coronavirus is affecting our economy, and whether you should pay down your mortgage or invest your money. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification button so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.